All right, so we are walking outside to this Honda Odyssey. And the complaint on this Honda is it starts whenever it wants. So sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. By starting, I mean sometimes it doesn't crank. Sometimes it becomes a no crank, no start. Sometimes it starts. So Carl is going to go in the car and start it. Hopefully it's going to act up now. So try to crank it and see what happens. Nothing? Okay, that's good. So it's it's not working right now. All right, let, let me see. So let's let's show our community here. So try to crank it. Crank it. Okay, crank it. You hear the click? Mm -hmm. Crank it again. Crank it again. Okay, now uh, pop the hood. Let's go under the hood. Let's see. That's not the hood. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> the hood thing is, I think it's over here. Yeah, right there. When we try to start the engine, there's just a clicking sound coming from under the hood. So, you want me to try and click about you? Yeah, I'm going to be here under the hood and let's see what we got. All right, crank it. I just hear a clicking sound. Crank it. Okay. So, it basically starts whenever it wants. So, it clicks first and then it starts. So let's drive it in the shop. We're gonna do some tests at the starter. I guess the starter is going bad, but we, we're gonna test the wiring first. If the wiring is good, we're gonna replace the starter. So the click, I mean the no crank, no start problem can be caused by a bad battery or a bad starter or a problem in the starting, uh, the starter circuit. So there's a little, you hear that tapping sound? There's a tapping sound under the hood. Like yeah. All right. So let's take it to the shop and see what happens. So we got the vehicle in the shop. The engine is still running. We didn't turn it off. So go ahead and lift it up. All right. Perfect. So now go back in the car and turn it off and let's see if it's going to start. I'm sure it's not going to start and then we will do some tests at the starter. Crank it. I can't fit in past the lift. All right, the door crank it. The door right. Nothing. So now it's just clicking, crank it again. Okay, so it takes a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You gotta to cycle the all the way back. All, all the way back, yeah. okay, turn it off again. Try it. It's just clicking. Okay. So right now we're just confirming the customer's complaint because she said that sometimes it just clicks and then sometimes it starts. Okay. Do it again. So it just clicks. Okay. Perfect. That's good. All right. So now let's get access to the starter because the click I hear is coming from the starter. So we're going to access the starter. And then we're going to check our power and ground at the starter. I believe our starter is somewhere over here. Yeah, it's hidden down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the signal wire of the starter. So here's the starter. So the starter is right over here. I'm going to access the signal wire of the starter. We're going to connect a test light to the starter signal wire. And then Carl is going to crank it for us to see if our test light is going to light every time the key is turned to the start position. If the test light turns on every time the key is turned to the start position, that will tell us that the starter is receiving the signal, but it's not cranking the engine. And at that point, I will feel comfortable replacing the starter. Okay, so let me see if, let me see if we can push these hoses out of the way it's going to be hard to do the testing here and showing everyone what we're doing because the battery is in the way and we have the upper radiator hose and the lower radiator hose up in the way okay so i'm gonna I'm gonna get the test light connected and then i'll bring you guys back up i don't think we have a voltage drop issue i believe the starter is going bad 
So here's what we're gonna do. Before we do our voltage drop test at the starter, since it's very hard to get to the starter, we probably gonna have to remove the battery. I wanna do some preliminary checks at the starter before we remove the battery and replace the starter, okay? We're just not gonna replace it. We have to do some tests first to figure out that everything else is good before we replace the starter. Now, Carl here has a test light. So we're gonna use that test light to test the signal wire of the starter. I don't know if you guys can see. So here is the signal, That's it. this over here is the signal wire of the starter. So I'm going to disconnect it. So I got the starter, oops. I got the starter signal wire. So here it is, this is the starter signal wire. So I got it disconnected. Now we're gonna connect our test light to it. So connect the test light to ground. And then the other side of the test light is gonna go to the starter signal wire over here that we just disconnected. I'm gonna put this jumper wire between the starter signal wire and the test light. Here is the setup that we have. I have my test light connected to ground on this side, and then this side is connected to the starter signal wire, okay? So this, this jumper wire over here is going down to the starter, the starter signal wire. Now, every time we turn the key to the start position, the test light should light. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for any glitch or any delay on the, uh, the test light coming on. Every time the key is held on the start position, this test light should remain illuminated. If it doesn't come on, then we're gonna trace our problem away from the starter, okay? We're gonna then look at the relay or the switch and everything else. But if every time the key is turned to the start position and the test light stays on, that will tell me that the starting circuit is good, then the problem is right here at the starter. So go ahead and do that, crank it. Okay, crank it again, crank it. Okay, now crank it and hold the key on the start position. Okay, so Carl is holding the key on the start position and the test light is remaining on, okay? So this is the signal going to the starter to crank it or let off, crank it again, let off, crank it again, let off. And I hope you can hear the relay click in that box when the test light comes on. Do it again. Let off, do it, let off. So there's a relay in here that's being energized to send power to the starter. Do it again. Okay, let off, okay. Cycle the key, crank it. Okay, let off, okay, that's good. So we have uh, the signal going to the starter. Okay, so this car should be starting every time the key is turned to the start position okay now we're gonna do a voltage drop on the power side and the ground side of the starter after that if everything checks out okay we're gonna replace the starter so two more tests remaining before we make the call okay so we tested the signal wire of the starter so now we're gonna use a multimeter to do a voltage drop test so I got my multimeter here we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna put it on the voltage scale. So we're gonna do the voltage drop test on the negative side of the, the starter. I was gonna say alternator. Negative side of the, of the starter. So uh, battery ground. So our black lead on the multimeter is connected to battery ground. And then the red lead is gonna go to our starter case. So I'm gonna connect this, thank you. Somewhere down here, just on the starter case. Okay, so that's gonna be our voltage drop test. So ground to ground. So hold on, let me reconnect this signal wire. So I reconnected the starter signal wire. My red test lead is connected to starter casing so starter ground okay now 
right now we're reading zero minus zero point zero zero one so I'm gonna switch this to power so we should read system voltage here so we're reading 12 volts on the multimeter okay so we are getting ground from the starter casing so now I'm gonna move this to battery ground okay I was just double checking our connection all right so we have 0, 0.00 volts on the multimeter so go ahead and crank it so now we're testing ground to ground crank it crank it nothing okay cycle the key crank it again crank it okay now the starter is not cranking and we don't have excessive voltage drop on the negative side of the alternator so that's good our voltage is remaining at 0, 0.00 okay so i would take that now we're going to move this to battery positive and we're going to we're going to move this one to the starter b positive terminal let me see if i can get to it so i'm connected to the starter b positive terminal right there i hope you can see right there now we are reading zero volts on the multimeter i'm gonna move this to ground if we are connected on the b positive terminal of the starter we should read system voltage on the multimeter okay so that's good we are definitely connected to the b positive terminal of the starter okay so now let's move this to battery positive so we're going positive to positive okay go ahead and crank it you have to do this test while you're cranking the starter to have current flow in the circuit so go crank it crank it okay nothing is going on so that's good we're good the starter is, is dropping out the starter is bad okay so we're good buddy so now we can go ahead and call for a new starter uh, this odyssey needs a starter so to get the starter replaced we're gonna have to remove the battery let's get the battery out of the way let's get the starting issue fixed first and then we're gonna figure out why it's making that tapping sound because there was a tapping sound mm -hmm. under the hood when we first started it I mean we have to check the oil level maybe it doesn't have enough oil but yeah so we're gonna remove the battery let's get this old starter out and then we will install a new one okay. now you don't have to remove it all the way yeah undo this side and then those hooks can just come out undo it again go a little bit more okay perfect nice 10 who's that Nathan yeah how was your drive Man. No AC. Oh really? Four hour drive. Oh. Wow. Brutal. But it's here. Good. Thanks for picking it up. Yeah, it drove really nice. No issues. The only weird thing is that every like two minutes or so, mm -hmm. it'll beep for like three seconds. Oh really? And stop beeping. There's like, no lights. No lights on the dash, nothing. No, it doesn't nothing else. Okay. Um, that's weird. Okay. But there's this weird like camera setup, like camera GPS thing. I feel like it's coming from that, but mm. I can't. Perfect.
Can you remove that tube first? You have room? Okay, perfect. So here comes the battery tray. Nice. Okay. So now we have enough room to get to the starter. And here is our starter motor. Now we don't need to we don't need to disconnect we don't need to disconnect the radiator hoses. Um, so So here are the bolts for the starter. So there's this one and then there's another one underneath it. So once we undo those two bolts, the starter is gonna come out. And then we're gonna disconnect this 13 mil to disconnect the cable that supplies power to the starter. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. Oh, you want me to disconnect it first? Yeah, you can disconnect that first, yeah. Careful that nut, yeah. Now pull that cable out. Just pull it out. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now your starter bolts, it looks like there are 17 millimeter bolts. Sorry. Yep, go ahead. Alright, so now we are removing the starter bolts. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. I did that tight there, go. Oh. Get a get that long pipe. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Watch your hand. Wow. Okay. That was pretty tight. Um, do we have another one? No, the bottom one. Yeah, there's a, another one underneath. Just one? Mm hmm. Just two. It only has two bolts. I just found it. Perfect. Okay. I'll hold your socket here. Yeah, go ahead. Nice. Ooh. Still mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you got it. Once you get it loose enough, you can then use your electric ratchet. Perfect. So here comes the first 
start a bolt. Now we're gonna remove the second one. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so here it comes. So I'll put it over here. Okay, so one bolt was longer than the other. Okay, so the top one is the short one and the long one is the bottom one. So here is our starter. It's actually very hot. It's hot to the touch. Okay. So bad starter. So this is the problem. Yeah. Okay. So now let's grab our new starter so we can install it. So at this point, everything we're gonna do is gonna be the reverse process of the removal process. Okay, so here is the starter and here is the part number from Napa. That's the starter part number. So that's good. Okay, you can get the new one out of the box. Perfect. It looks identical to the one we just removed. Okay. Let's remove this and then let's install that. Goes like that, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Now you can sit the sit the starter first before we before you start with the bolts. Yeah. Make sure your starter is sitting first. Yeah. Careful, you don't want to drop the bolt in there. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get it lined up, I'm gonna hold. Let me hold back here. You hold the starter. Yeah. Then get your bolts started. Up forward. Or lay back. Right there. Perfect. Get the bottom one started first before you tighten it. Perfect. So here are the bolts for the starter. Here's the top bolt. And then there's another one just below it under the starter. So now we're going to tighten them. Yeah, I'll buy another one. Perfect. Awesome. So starter bolt I tightened. So now we're gonna reconnect the starter cable. Go ahead. I don't like how this cable look. Look at this car. This ground cable. Let me see. Hopefully you guys can see. You see how corroded this cable looks? Look. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna recommend replacing it. Yeah. This is something we're gonna have to do, but Let's finish with the starter replacement first.
perfect. We're good. Now, do you want to put the boot back on first? The boot on the uh, B positive terminal, yeah. Nice, perfect. Now we're going to reconnect the signal wire of the starter. So everything is reconnected on the starter. So now, what's next? Battery. Battery tray. Battery okay. tray. So now we're going to install the battery tray. All right. Cool. So we're going to put the battery on and connect the battery terminals. We're going to start the engine a couple of times. I'm sure right now it's going to start. And then we're going to wrap up this video. And after that, we're going to install the battery hole down and everything else. And we're going to do that off camera because at this point, all this stuff is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Okay. Good. Nice. All right. So we have replaced the starter. So now Carl is going to go in the vehicle and start the engine for us. Crank it. Perfect. It started. First try. First try. Okay. Turn it off. Try it again. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So turn it off. All right, now let's wrap up this video. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave this right over here. This is how you test a starting circuit. And this is also how you replace a starter on this Honda Odyssey. Carl, good job, as usual. So we're gonna leave it right over here. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. The problem with this car was a bad starter. Any last words before we end? See you on the next job. See you on the next job. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. See you next time.